You cannot hold yourself against the current of what life has caused you to become. And when you try, you don't feel good. And when you let go, you feel ever so much better. So let's go. <laughs> Some things you want to talk about. Good, 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 good. So much you want to talk about. If you begin to understand that your work is to make it an emotional journey, let your journey to your financial fortune be an emotional journey, not an action journey. So how does that play out? Well, that plays out that you imagine it and you pretend it and you feel good about it or you even hope it, but you just can't keep saying it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working without turning around and going in the opposite direction. You've got to find a way to keep pointed in the right direction. And your emotions are that indicator. So in every moment you've got two emotions. One feels one way and one feels slightly better. In other words, one feels good, one feels bad. If you will look at it in that way, sometimes people will say, Abraham, I can't tell the difference on this. And we say, then keep focusing upon it until it becomes strong enough that you can feel it. Your emotions will always give you guidance. And when you decide to let yourself be guided by your emotion, now you quantify your journey. And now people who are watching you, who haven't caught on to what your magic is, will notice that things are manifesting faster for you but what they will notice first is you seem irrationally joyful anyway <laughs> how's it going they'll say great you say oh did you get that job no <laughs> it's coming why are you so happy because it's coming no really seriously <laughs> why are you so happy because it's coming well, did someone call you no did you get the second interview? No. Why are you so happy? Because it's coming. Well, how do you know that it's coming? That's the big question. How do you know it's coming when the physical evidence is to the contrary? How do you know? I know law of attraction and I know how I've been feeling and I know that there's not a shred of evidence to the contrary of it. I know that when I feel this way, things are moving in the direction. I've been here before. I felt this way that one other time and it panned out well. In other words, you can let loose of all of the evidence that is to the contrary when you know the law and the law says that that which is likened to itself is drawn and what it means is the vibration that you are emanating is being matched and the evidence is soon to follow you live in this wonderful environment where there is a buffer of time and that buffer of time says it's not going to manifest in the first moment you thought it and friends that's a very very good thing because until you get really good at directing thought, you don't want every thought that you think to manifest. <laughs> but from a non-physical standpoint, in the stability of source, from the perspective where worlds are created, when you leading edge genius, worthy person out here on the leading edge of your experience lives something which causes you to delicately, infinitely, specifically identify something that you would prefer for you, Source says you ought to know, consider it done and becomes a perfect vibrational match to it. And in that moment calls you to it. And when you hear the call, even if it's rage, you're moving in the right direction.